Right, so me and my mates were down at some sink and bar last night, but it's right in the corner from where I live. Bouncers let me in with the ID I use. Do you ever wish you were the person in your fake ID? My fave drink is gin and Fanta lemon. And then there's my boyfriend. He brought me to that shitty party last night. Tried to tell him to get a job and get off the door because he's skirting about picking up Uyghur. Says he's doing the double and doesn't think I know. But here, Lisa's paying for his Netflix and his Xbox account. The problem with him is, he's lazy. And my mum was pure pissed at me for not coming home last night. She was like, I can't afford you going out all the time. Do I look like a fucking bank? She has enough for figs. Does she think I'm like five or something? We were all hammered anyway. My boyfriend decided he was going to try and scrap someone. He ended up slitting his lip open and I ended up having to call a taxi. To be honest with you, don't remember much of it. I remember booking the taxi. I just don't remember going home. Some pure creep, like, he was following me around all night. He said he'd give me a lift home. Thinking you? I don't even remember how I got out of that. She doesn't know where I was, but ever since that night, I've gotten really good at hiding things from her. In one single moment, your whole life can turn round. I stand there for a minute, staring straight into the ground. Looking to the left slightly, then looking back down. The world feels like it's caved in, proper sorry frown. Please let me show you where we could only just be for us. I can change and I can grow or we could adjust. The wicked thing about us is we always have trust. We can even have an open relationship if you must. I look at her, she stares almost straight back at me. But her eyes glaze over like she's looking straight through me. Then her eyes must have closed for what seems an eternity. I'm going away, but only I know. I haven't even told my mum. Not like she'd be crying anyway. It's that shape, alright, love? I'm buzzing to get away from this place. Too many people know each other, and too many people stick their noses in about what happened to me that night. So, like, the colour and everything, alright? Once I leave, I'll be like famous. And then I'll be known as that wee doll that got too blocked one night, and everyone will be talking about me.
sometimes there is no better choice other than to just leave.